Hi, Rich Spazano here with Digitally Feelers. And a few weeks ago, I showed you how to convert a photo to curves. And as long as it had a smooth background or a gradient background, uh, it, there was no problem stretching this after you've done the curves. For example, I took this photo and I can go up here where it says convert to curves. And then if I pick the node tool, right, which is under the pen tool here, and say I grab this right here and wanted to extend it, I can extend it. And what it did was it just kind of smoothed it out. And I can even do the sides if I go back. Now her shoulder will, I'll show you how I do the sides. Now her shoulder will stretch out, but we can always fudge that if we need to. But you see how we do that? And you could do this side. And later on, if you needed to fudge this up, you can easily take the stamp tool and just stamp from here to there, which I'm not really going to worry about trying, but we could do it right now, like something like that. And same here. And we can kind of do this to smooth that out. So the problem, though, is if it doesn't have a gradient smooth or a solid, it becomes a problem because it just basically stretches weird designs. And we didn't want that. But it works differently when you have a pattern. So wait till you see what I can do to a pattern. So let's get started. So let's get rid of this girl. We don't need her. Delete her. And I pulled from stock. I just did repeat pattern and I picked this very wild psychedelic looking pattern which to me was reminded me of the 60s <laughs> and I did like the 60s even though I was a little kid I did love the 60s so let's take this pattern now and now we can convert this pattern to curves just like we did with the other picture and remember I told you if you select the node tool and you have you don't have a solid background it does it just pulls out those last pixels by the way I just doing this I thought this was very cool in itself so if you want to do something wild and crazy you could try some of these kind of things to create your designs but but in this tutorial I'm going to show you something really cool I'm going to pull these out and now here we go and now the important part if I go over here to the gradient tool now remember, this is a repeat pattern, which I chose from a stock photos. You can use any repeat pattern. If I go to the gradient tool and select that, we have our gradient marker here. And if I go up here, instead of repeat, I do wrap. We have the repeat pattern now. Look at this. Is that pretty amazing that you can have a pattern in here and then change the size after it's brought in just by stretching it and converting it to a curve you can rotate it now if you turn the lock off on top then you can kind of distort it which i don't know if you'd want to do so this was a quick tutorial and every single day i'm discovering new things about affinity photo it is a wonderful program and i hope you liked this tutorial and if you did Please click like and subscribe and have a good day.